Well, I don't think it should be banned entirely. It's already been banned for large-scale use, and that's appropriate because that's the source of most of the haze. But for many small holders and communities, uh, fire is a good option if it's used well at the right time of year and used in a, a way that uh, uh, does the job without creating uh, excessive haze. So I don't think the answer is to ban fire entirely, but the answer is much more to use fire wisely. And the reason we're experiencing so much haze at the present is because that fire's not being used wisely. One of the fundamental differences is that there's now uh, legal protection uh, in Indonesia against burning on a large scale. Uh, but also since that last haze event, Indonesia has undergone uh, a transformation in its governance. It's become a very decentralised uh, nation in terms of governance. And that poses a whole set of new challenges in terms of giving effect to a law that's been agreed nationally it has to be implemented at provincial and local levels. So one of the challenges is for Indonesian governments at the different levels, uh, national, provincial and district, to work together more effectively to give effect to that law that was passed in 2001. In the 1997-98 uh, Hayes year, um, which was the, the worst previously, um, something like 60% of the haze was estimated to come from fires on peatland, even though those fires were only about 20% of all fires. So there's a disproportionate contribution from fires on peatland to the haze that's being experienced. simply having a law in place is not in itself usually sufficient. Um, we need other actors to also be working towards the minimisation of haze. And everybody has a role in that. The, the companies that are the major actors in the plantation sector, uh, in forest tree plantations and in oil palm plantations, the most progressive of those companies already have commitments and have put in place measures not to use fire in their land management practices. So we need to, to broaden that commitment out across the whole sector. Uh, companies that are based in Indonesia, companies that are based in Singapore, companies that are based in Malaysia, all are active in Indonesia's plantation sector. We need uh, organisations that represent the interests of those companies, like the Consumer Goods Forum, that have made commitments internationally to give effect to good environmental practice to work with their members and to work with governments to achieve that. The Consumer Goods Forum has signed a tropical forest alliance with the US government to give effect to its intent and we need to see that, that uh, commitment um, played out in, in practice. Uh, the banks and the finance institutions that uh, support corporate investment in plantation agriculture need to make sure that their investments are used in a way that's consistent with good environmental practice. In this case, not allowing the use of fire and most likely not allowing further conversion of peatlands to other land uses because of the risks that uh, will follow in terms of future fire events. Consumers have a role, consumers in uh, the countries where the haze is being experienced and consumers in more distant markets uh, should be uh, inquiring about their supply chains and uh, asking for assurances that the uh, products that they're using, whether they're the products of uh, palm oil or the products of tree plantations, are not coming from peatlands that have been converted in this way and made susceptible to fire.